welcome back to this week's craft on CLT Royals. I'm Honor. And I'm Minger. So for this week's craft, we'll be making dream catchers. are these little things that you can hang in your room and they're really cute and they're said to take all your bad dreams away. But for this week's craft you will be needing some beads, feathers, metal hoops, ours are five inches, peacock feathers, scissors, but see they look like peacock feathers. Scissors. Um, thread and string. So we're going to make the less complex version of this. And so here's a picture of a complex version. Boom. And here's a picture of a non-complex version. <laughs> so we will be making more of the non-complex. First thing you're going to want to do is take your metal hoop and choose which color string you want. So which color do you want? Do you want the white one? This one. That one? Okay, I think... Oh, no, no. I'm going to use the white one. You're going to take your string and try to wrap it as tightly as possible. You might want something to secure the first thing right there because we're gonna be going all the way around the hoop. So maybe like a clasp or something that will hold it there for a little while. So you, you, no, you're not moving this, you're moving this side. Okay, so we're just going to be using these little things. So once you have a little bit of starting, you're going to hey, press, it, press it all together and then you will have about that much, not much, but you're going to take your clasp and put it on your piece. Okay, so once you have finished putting it all the way around. It can take some time, but you want to make sure you're pulling as tight as possible. You're going to knot or tie and then tape it down so it won't move. And then you're either going to take your thread to make a complex design, or you're going to be like us, who is going to take some string and make little star shapes. So for this, you're just going to choose a place so I just tied another color, and you don't have to do another color, but so you're, once you tie your knot, you're going to go down to the next space where you want it, and loop it around there twice, and then go At to the twice. You can do more. next space. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's why you're saying the thing is too big. So then, however long you want your thing to be, you just can cut it. And then keep doing it to make little star shapes. So we finished the web thing and I put a little thing to hold it at the top. So um, we put the little spider web thing in the middle. Oh, there's your spider. 
And then I put a little thing so it can hang on the top. And now we're going to make a space for the hole in the middle where the good dreams go through and, and the, the bad, bad dreams get caught in the spider web part. So we're and just gonna use some also thread. There's Use the thread to make a hole in the middle, and now what I'm going to do is hang some string from the bottom and put some beads on it and then attach the feather to the bottom. So if your feather doesn't have a little hook on the end, what you're going to want to do is take some thread and wrap it around the stem of the feather and knot it just like that and then and then you're going to hook it to your string So this is how mine turned out. It's really pretty. You can wake up and look at it through the circle. And it will represent the sun. And it has like this webbing in here for um like web and um, it has these eight green legs for spider woman and it catches your bad dreams through this hole and pushes them out and then the good dreams come through this and what you do with the beads are you once you tie the feather on the bottom you just string them through the string and you can make a pattern or whatever. Oh. And then you'll attach it to here. So we'll get back to you when we're finished. Okay guys, so we finished them and here's what they look like. They look so cute. And here's mine. Oh. And let me show them yours. And there's a tangle at the bottom, but here is his. And we already told you a little bit about them, but they're super cute and we can't wait to hang them in our room. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for these dream catchers. And we hope you enjoyed watching this video because we enjoyed making this craft. And if you did, make sure to give it a big wow. like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss when we post a video on this channel and our other channel, Royal Rumble. And we'll see you guys next time.